All right, today I want to talk about the Merges folder with Cordova. If you're using Cordova to build your mobile applications, then one of the main reasons for doing that is so that you have the same code base for multiple platforms. So I'm building for Android, I'm building for iOS, but I want to be able to use the same HTML, the same CSS, the same JavaScript for both platforms. And you can do that to a point, but eventually you're going to reach a point where there's some style differences between the two platforms. There's going to be things that you want to do differently. There may be script things that you want to do differently depending on the platform. Android, for example, has the floating action button. So in my Android emulator here, you know, I could have a fab sitting down here that I want to click on, but in the iOS version, up in my navbar at the top, I'm going to have a link up here to do the main action for the page. So because there's these differences, we need to be able to handle that inside of our script, inside of our styles. I have here my Cordova project folder. So I've created a, a blank file, I've, or a blank project. I've scraped out most of the stuff that's inside there and just put a little bit of styling and a little bit of JavaScript. And we'll go through that and I'll show you that in a minute. But we have here the www folder. This is the main part of my project inside the CSS folder. And inside the JavaScript folder, I've got one main file. Now the stuff that's going to be customized, the stuff that's going to make the iOS platform look different, the stuff that's going to make it act differently than the Android one, I'm going to store that inside of the Merges folder. So you see up here, at the same level as www, I've created a folder called Merges. Inside of this, there's an, a folder for each one of the platforms, one called Android, one called iOS. Inside there, Mirroring the structure that I have down here, I have CSS and I've got JavaScript. So, same folders. Inside of here, inside of here, the path needs to mirror whatever it is inside of here. If I had a subfolder inside of the CSS, then I should replicate that up here as well. Okay, now I've created a file called platform.css and another one called platform.js. And I've done the same file name in both areas. So the Android CSS and the iOS CSS have the same name. You can optionally create a file down here called platform.css and just leave it blank. It's not going to hurt anything. But when you compile, when you say Cordova build Android or Cordova emulate iOS, when you're running those commands to build the project, what's going to happen is the file right here from the specific platform, the Android or the iOS version, those will be copied over and placed inside of these folders down here. So they'll be moved into www. In my HTML, I need to link to these two files as if they were inside of CSS and JavaScript, inside those two folders. So taking a look at my HTML file, there's the Cordova script that you're always going to have. This is my index.js file. So my basic script, really all, I, all I'm doing is I'm waiting for device ready and I'm calling my init function. I'm going to do an alert. I'm going to target the h1 and then add a click event. Now my click event, I want to do something different depending on which one, which platform I'm using, whether it's iOS or Android. So my click listener is calling something called custom method now the name here is not important, it can be anything that you like, but app.customMethod. Inside this app object, I don't have something called custom method. I'm going to be creating this inside of that custom script. Back in my HTML, platform is placed after index.js, so I can use the variable that was created here within this file. So we'll take a look over here, and here's the Android version. So app.customMethod equals, here's the function. I'm using the device plugin to find out whether it's Android or iOS, and I'm writing that out. Now I've got the exact same script over here for doing these things. I'm also calling on the iOS platform. Here's the script methods. I've included the status bar plugin and the device plugin so I can find out what the platform is and so I can style the status bar up at the top of the screen. But just to show that this script is different than the Android one. It's got the same first couple of lines, but then it differs. Now, that is my JavaScript file. That's different depending on the platform. 
for my CSS, I'm doing the same sort of thing. I've got a slight difference between them. For the Android, I'm going to put the H1 up at the top of the screen, position fixed up at the top. For the iOS, I'm going to put it down at the bottom. And pretty much everything else is the same except for border top. Uh, if this is down at the bottom, then I've got the border on the top. And if the H1 is at the top, I've got the border on the bottom. So looking in the emulators, there we have it. So I'll, I'll close these and I'll relaunch them. Okay, so we can say, go to emulate Android. We'll rebuild the project, launch it inside my emulator. And there we go, there's the alert inside my init method when device ready is fired. And if I click on the header, there it is, it's the Android platform. That's the one that's coming up. Um, for this one, I can run it from the command line or I can launch it from inside of Xcode. I have it, the project opened in Xcode. Uh, if you're wondering how to do that, just a quick aside, inside your platforms folder, there's Android and iOS. If you open up iOS, there is your Xcode project file. If you double click on that, that's what's going to open this up in Xcode. Then you can quickly and easily choose which one of the simulators you want to use and click play. So there's the simulator and there's the initial alert. And I click here again and iOS, that's the platform. All right, so that's how you use the merges folder. Just quick and easy. Create the folder called merges. Inside of it, create a folder for each of your platforms, one for Android, one for iOS, and then mirror the structure that you've got inside of www. Just keep the same file name for whatever you're adding, whether it's CSS or JavaScript, have the same file name for both versions. Then in your HTML, write the links for your script tag and your link tag as if the file was actually inside the www folder, inside the CSS folder, or inside the JS folder. All right, so hope that helps you out. Have fun uh, creating some different styles for the different platforms. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments before. And as always, thanks for watching.